What's up YouTube, it is David Taylor here with Robo13. I want to kind of go back to what I used to do all the time, how-to videos and tutorials. Those are my specialty. I really like making these kind of videos. Uh, so in this one, I'm going to teach you guys how to make an animated GIF or GIF, however you want to pronounce it, in uh, Adobe Photoshop CS6. This is on my MacBook Pro. So if you guys have uh, Windows, this should be the exact same tutorial as I'm doing right here. So I'm just going to open up uh, Adobe Photoshop CS6. And this should be the latest version right here. 13.0.6. Uh, this is the extended version of Adobe Photoshop and the reason you need the extended edition is because once you bring in your photo, I'll show you guys really quick, and you go to timeline, you need to have this option right down here where you can change this to either a frame animation or a video timeline. I don't think the non-extended version has that. So if you try to go to your timeline and there's not that option, I don't think you can follow this tutorial. But anyway, I'm going to exit out of this and let's just delete this really quick and just start fresh. So uh, basically, when you, first when you bring it up, you want to drag in whatever like object you want to animate. So this one I'm going to use a football, and I'm going to just have it go across the screen once, and then across the screen again, and that's going to be the animated GIF. So you want to bring in the picture just like this. Then you want to double click and just click OK. So double click right over here, and then click OK. This will unlock that layer. And then go up to view, or I'm sorry, window, and click on timeline. That will bring this up. And then you want to make sure this says create frame animation. Don't do video timeline. So frame animation, and then click that. That will make a first frame right here. And so now, basically what you want to do with this is you want to get rid of the white background right here and just have the football or whatever object you're using be uh, the only thing that's on this picture. So to do that, you click on the magic wand tool, click the white, and then just hit delete and that will get rid of the uh, white background right there and then to get rid of this stuff down here you'll probably have to depending on what picture you're using you'll have to uh, do a little bit more editing just like this just to get rid of this extra junk down here and then see that little bit right there got a little bit cut off so I'm just gonna back it up just a second to that one and just make sure that all of this is selected and once this is all deleted I will be right back okay so that's that's close enough I'm not gonna make this you know extremely perfect this is uh, the best that I'll probably get right now so once you have this selected now you can just move around this football uh, by itself and not have to worry about the background so now we're gonna make a plain white background just so it has a nice uh, clean background so that it can move across so to do that you just want to create a new layer right there and then take your uh, paint bucket tool and make sure that you have this selected on white so just come down here click this little uh, these two squares and make sure you have the white color selected go to your paint bucket tool and just color the whole thing white and then drag this layer underneath your uh, other animated layer that you want to use so now you have a nice clean white background and then you have the football on top that you can move around if you have that layer selected just like that so now I'm going to do command T or I think it's control T on the windows and just shrink this down just so I can have it fit in this size square and I'm actually going to move it completely off the screen so that is going to be frame one right there alright and once you get the football completely off the screen and that's your first frame you want to come down here and click duplicate and then you want to drag the football back onto the screen so now you can see that the first frame does not have it there and the second frame does. But now you want to bring it to wherever you want it to end up. So I want it to actually end up completely off the screen over on this side. So it's going to start over here and it's then going to move all the way over the screen just like this and then end up right there. And that's going to be the second frame. So now the first frame, again, it starts here, second frame and ends up here. Now what you do is you select both of these frames and then you click this little tool right here, it's called Tween, it's Tween Animation Frames. Click on that, and this will add frames in between those two frames. So instead of it starting here and just going straight to here, and you don't see it in here, it's actually going to add frames in between, so you can see the football going across the screen and then ending up over here. I add about 10 frames, that way it looks relatively smooth. You can add more or less depending on what you do. Uh, the more frames you add, the bigger the file size is going to be. Uh, the rest of these can all stay the same, and just click OK. And now you'll see that all these different frames down here just showed up. So now if I play this really quick, you'll see the football goes across the screen. But now I want to make it go from this corner down to this corner by kind of doing a diagonal move or some somewhat of a uh, 
you know, an animation across the screen diagonally. So now I'm going to take this frame right here and click duplicate once again. Whoop, that's the tween thing right there. So click duplicate and then you'll have this frame again. Then you want to drag the football down to wherever you want to have it end up again. So I want it to be kind of down here, straight diagonal from uh, up here. Then once you do that, you just click Command or Control and select that frame that you just moved plus the last frame of the last one and click Tween again. I'll add 10 more frames and click OK. So now you can see that it will do this when I play it. So it goes across the screen and then it goes diagonal just like that. And now I want it to come and bring it to uh, the middle of the screen. So I'm going to take this frame right here again, which ended up down here, click on New Frame, then take the football and drag it to the center of the screen, which I think is right there. And then once that's done, once again, you just click the last frame and that the frame that you did uh, before when it was down in this corner, hit the Tween tool, add 10 frames in between. So now there's 30 frames in here, and this is what it will look like when it's completely done. So it goes across, diagonal, and then back to the middle. And that's basically how animated GIFs work. It just uses multiple frames of the picture to make it look like it's animated. So now once you're done that, you go up to File, Save for Web. And then once this loads, it takes a little bit to get the preview going. There you go. You want to make sure that this is selected as a GIF. You can select any one of these. It doesn't really matter. These will just make the uh, uh, file size and the colors a little bit more uh, vibrant. And the file size will get bigger the more colors you use. So I, I typically use GIF uh, 64 and no uh, dither, I believe it's pronounced. I might be pronouncing that wrong. But either way, I use this one right here. Just select that. And then uh, make sure it is GIF, though, because that is the only way you're going to make this animated. Uh, click on Save. And I just save it to the desktop. You can name it whatever you want. Make sure it's .gif at the end as well. And then hit Save. And you have to make sure it is Save for Web, but not just uh, Save As. Don't click Save As have to click save for web. So now once that's done I'll just minimize this and here's the football.gif and there's the original football picture. So now this has to be opened in a, a web page. So I'm just going to go to here, open up a new thing here and let's just drag this into here and have it play and you'll see that it actually plays in the uh, web browser. And actually I forgot to mention one thing you can add these to Imgur and share them on the web for other people to watch if you need to. Uh, literally all you have to do is go to Imgur.com, I-M-G-U-R.com, I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. Drag and drop your GIF into uh, the web browser and just let go, it'll say upload. And then I'll probably do a little preview down there. And all you have to do is hit start upload, it'll finish that. And once that's completed, it will then give you a link over here. So all you have to do is copy this direct link, email and IM. It's probably the easiest way to do it, just copy that. And now if you paste this into your web browser, right here, it will bring up your GIF and it will be there uh, for as long as Imgur stays a website. Basically, you'll have this uh, URL for your picture uh, forever. And this will, if you have it set to play forever, it'll just keep repeating like that. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to do uh, this right here, how it just keeps repeating uh, right after this. So to say, say you wanted that to go multiple times and not just once. So if you want to do that, you go into Save for Web again, and then down here, once it says, or once it loads in, this looping options right here. There's a once, forever, or other. So you can make it play five times, ten times, however many times you want. If you want to make it play uh, forever, you just click that forever button and just hit save again. Again, make sure it's uh, GIF 64 or whatever uh, version you want, and just click save on the desktop. I'm going to replace that, and once that exports, then you can minimize this again and drag and drop this back into the web page and you'll see that this will now play uh, forever. It'll just keep repeating and that's basically it. That's how you do a animated GIF. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know if you want me to do more tutorials. I have uh, Photoshop tutorials. I can do Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, anything like media related. I can do that kind of stuff. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out a ton and it only takes you guys a second. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button uh, so you guys can see all my new videos coming out. I will have a tutorial hopefully with the new HP touchpad. If you guys are uh, waiting for that, I will hopefully have that done either this week or next week when I get back to my apartment after Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks guys.